Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headache stack Restlessness to hell and back Hello, let's create a VM in Hyper-V So first we need to open our Hyper-V manager and select new virtual machine give our virtual machine a name and tell it where to store the files for the virtual machine click next we're going to make it a generation 2 because we're going to use UEFI based firmware tell it how much RAM to use I tend to always use 8 gig I'm going to connect the virtual machine to my default switch so it's got access to the internet for updates and things leave all these settings the way they are because I'm going to create the, the the operating system from here so I'm going to map it to an ISO of a Windows 10 DVD and that part's done now we need to start to do the new one VM up and connect to hit any key to get it to boot from the DVD and I'm going to select United Kingdom on that setting and install I'm going to select Pro Set the terms and conditions make sure there's nothing else no other partitions obviously because I'm just creating it and now it just takes a few minutes to go through getting the files from the ZVD onto the VM so I'll come back when that's finished so we're nearly done Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe We just need to go through the window, the normal Windows setup Questions that you get every time you install Windows Not all elastic, but maybe there's magic. Believe you could have it, and I know of sadness, the anxious and panic, the infinite vastness of all that is blackness. Keep it on United Kingdom.
change that to United Kingdom. I'm going to skip another keyboard layout. I just want to make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need What you need we're broken, it's tragic, we're not all elastic But maybe there's magic, believe you could have it And I know of sadness, the anxious and panic The infinite vastness of all that is blackness So we're going to set this one up for personal use. Organisation would obviously be if you've got a domain or AAD. I want to use an offline account. This account login here is if you've got a Hotmail account or an Outlook account with Microsoft. You can log in through that way. I prefer an offline account for VMs unlimited experience because we don't want to connect to the cloud right now create a user account you would normally add a password here if you want to I don't want to at the moment and I'm going to select the minimum on all these questions as it's a test VM I'm going to skip this. I don't want Cortana. Last, try to let go of the past. I close my eyes, embrace the blast. Sleepless nights and headaches stack. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack. And sometimes you just gotta believe. There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need What you need We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness The anxious and panic The infinite vastness Of all that is blackness This is just Hyper-V asking us to connect again. I'll just click X on that for now because we don't need to do that. Maybe later on, uh, as you can see, we've got a fully functioning Windows VM. At present, we have no, no BitLocker. So I'm going to power this VM off 
and I'm going to change the settings so it allows us to bit lock on this VM. So what we need to do here is we go to the the settings tab on for the VM when it's powered off and we find security. If we enable trusted platform module that will enable us to have a VM with BitLocker enabled. That pop-up demo to just tell me that there has been a change to the VM since it was last snapshot, which is the BitLocker being turned on. Soon enough that will come in. I'll just leave that running for a bit and I'll come back once that's turned itself on. Now, I, now I've rebooted the device and ejected the DVD. I can now tell it to BitLocker. You can save it to Microsoft file or print it. Um, if this was on AAD or in an active domain environment you wouldn't have to do that obviously because that store that in the management consoles but it does allow you to virtual to um, BitLocker a virtual machine even though the host is not BitLocker capable because it doesn't have a TPM key and creating a virtual machine in Hyper-V is as easy as that thanks for watching